Hello everybody and welcome to Pneumatograft Repetorize for Minecraft 115. Today I'm going to have a look at resource collection because I'm going to use mystical agriculture for that and I've already started a little bit. Let's get started and I'll show you what I've been doing so far. Well the first thing to do is actually to make some seeds and the seeds are dead easy. You just basically need one normal seed and surround that by its inferior essence and you'll get a inferior seed. And then you go and plant that on some dirt. Let's go and do that. First of all, oh yes, I also need to, the first thing you should build is this as well, a watering can. The recipe for that is one bowl, and I get that from fishing, and bone meal, you get bones from fishing as well, so that's pretty good. Then you just need four ingots, and that'll make a watering can from mystical agriculture. And then you can upgrade that one with some in, inferior ingots and some mystical fertilizer. Now mystical fertilizer is quite tricky to get because we'll get how to get that later on. Uh, then once you've got this the things start to move a lot quicker. But with the ordinary watering can they start to work anyway. So let's go and plant this seed. It doesn't matter where you plant it really. Anyway we'll do. So I'm going to plant it into this water like this. And then I'm going to simply water it up. And you'll see that it automatic it straight away turns into um, farmland when you're using the watering can on this. And as you wa keep watering it, it'll, it'll grow fairly quickly into a full-grown plant. And then I'm going to show you what happens after you've got your first inferior essence. The best thing to do with it is to actually make this into inferior farmland. When I was playing with um, all the mods for I couldn't actually see how the farmland was working it didn't seem to grow things any faster the watering can certainly makes things grow a lot faster as you can see and then we got our first one so we break this I'll go and get the bits hopefully they didn't fall into water but of course they did this time and then you take this inferior essence like this and you plant that down onto this onto this ground here and you get inferior farmland and then you can put your inferior seed on that it doesn't make it grow any faster, as I've said before. What it does do is this. Let's have a look. So at the moment we've got no inferior essence in our inventory. And I'm picking up eggs. Don't want to pick up eggs. So here I've got about a bunch of 12. I actually started off with 9. So let's just break these. sure we picked everything up and what we should have is 12 inferior essence but we got 15 seeds and that's where the inferior farmland comes into it uh, into its uses so you grow very fast once you've got this so you've already got another three I'm not going to grow up those three just yet because we've got enough to get on with our next our next step as it were so, so our next step is then to make a actually I've got something else I've forgotten to say I got this I did get Fortune 3 when I was fishing a book. I got the Fortune 3 book, as you can see. Um, and I also got a mending book and a Efficiency 4 book from this one. I think that's probably the best thing to use because the power, I've already got power 5 on this bow. All of this is from fishing. So fishing's a really good way to get started with this stuff. I got a bow and another... Um, I'll put those away, actually. But first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to make... I'll make this this maxed out so we need three for three for this to mend in which is always a good one to have and then we'll make efficiency four as well and the other thing we could put on this of course is breaking so what i'm going to do is put this into the offhand and then as we get as we get xp that'll mend itself automatically diamonds with this uh, with this uh, fortune three i got 36 diamonds so i obviously got 39 because i made the pickaxe before i actually put the efficiency on it which I think is probably the best thing to do. But we've also got a reasonable amount of inferior essence now, and we need a diamond. Well, let's get started with this one. In fact, I think we need two diamonds. Because what we've got to do next in, the, in mystical agriculture is to, what I would like is iron seeds, gold seeds, and diamond seeds eventually. So, with this diamond, what we can do with this, oh look. Um, Let's look at iron seeds. Uh, 
iron seeds. There's prosperity base seeds. Probably there's gas seeds. Doesn't really matter that much. I know that the, what the recipe is. Let's just tie iron in here. So we have these iron seeds. Tier three. So we need some tertium essence for this. A prosperity seed, base seed, that's no big deal, and some ingots. But we also need to put these onto this infusion crafting mechanism. So we need an infusion altar and eight pillars. So we'll get this done up first of all. So I've got one fusion. I've got enough bits and pieces here for that. Red wool, as I said before, I think in the first episode, get some red wool. So let's have a look at the uses of this, and that should tell me about the recipe for the pillars, which are these. Shift click that in, and I've got exactly enough to make eight. And then what we need to do is we need to make the next tertium essence. So let's go back to our iron seeds here and look at this one. So this is how we do it. So we need prudentium essence on a crystal, an infusion crystal. So for that we need uh, four inferior essence, four prosperity, and a diamond. So I haven't got these. I've got the. Um, I need the. I need the. This one here, the prosperity essence. I'll take up eight, I think. Because we also need to make a seed. So what the recipe for that was one diamond in the middle, and I, th I think it was this way around. If I've got it wrong, I've got it wrong. I'll just swap them around. Yeah, sure enough, that's the right way around. So we've got an infusion crystal, and with that infusion crystal, we can make a. With 64 of these, we can actually make. Um, we have enough to make the the iron seed, or the, the tertium essence. So that'll make four, 16 of these, and then we do that again. It'll then make. Oops, missed it. I think we'll just do it like this. Put the recipe for that one in. And click it in place and that'll give us a fourth of those. So we now have enough. We just need four iron ingots. Let's get the four iron ingots out of here. And then we can set it up. Now it's night time. <laughs> have a quick sleep. And it's fairly straightforward. It's I'm probably not going to cover all of these because it's I think maybe it would also be a good idea to make another one of these um, tertium essences. Let's do that. So we need 16 of these. So let's halve that and halve that again. We've got 16. Put the crystal in the middle and that'll make one. What I'm not 100% sure about, but I'm going to guess, is that this will work at the level of the um, farmland. So I, I reckon if I used them Inferior farmland for this wouldn't work. So let's go and plant this. Let's go and make this first of all. So I've got a space over here. We can go and do it over here. Might be dangerous. There are possibly mobs over behind me. So here it looks like a good space to do it. Dead easy. All you have to do is put down the infusion altar. Somewhere like that. And then it highlights where you've got to put the pedestals. So if you watch my series on all the mods for. I did forget one thing. I need to make a lever. Have I got anything with me I can make a lever with? Or a button. Stone. Yes, I can make a button. Stone. Because we need to trigger it, don't we? With um. So let's let's. Oh, I need the prosperity shards. I forgot to get make those. No big deal. We'll just quickly set up a crafting table here and make it do that. So we need a, this is to basically one seed, prosperity seed. It's one seed with surrounded by, in the cross of this one. So we've got this prosperity seed base. So that goes into the middle. We can put the button down here like that. And in the middle we can put this, the seed. There's two types of seeds. And then we can put the essence and the ingots down. Now, the essence always goes on the ordinal directions, which is basically the north, south, east and west. And the iron or the other mineral always goes on the corner, on the diagonals. Let's do that. And that's everything is prepared. Let's just press the button. And sure enough, that's going to make an iron seed. So we have our first iron seed. So I'm going to go and plant that now. And we'll make we'll plant it on some um, farmland and see if we get some faster seeds. Now, where am I going to do this? It's looking a bit crowded around here. Actually, I can do it here. Look, let's put it down here. Let's get my hoe out. Put some essence on it first. So it's this tertium essence. Plant the seed in it. And then we can water it up. 
Where's the watering can here? And I'm hoping this will also give us a chance of a second seed reasonably quickly. I'm not 100% sure. But what I'll do is I'll carry on doing this and we'll see how far we get and how many times I've got to make it before we get our second seed. So I'll see you in a few seconds. And sure enough, actually after five goes, I got a second seed. So what I have to do, of course, is then to, to upgrade this. What I might do is put the seed down here. So we'll just make some more um, tertium farmland. So we need another essence. Uh, one place I need it. Yeah, I've got enough here, haven't I? So we just need 16. We'll probably do 32. That's 32. So let's make two of these things. And this is way cheaper than doing it way I've been doing it so far which was to make lots of seeds it was less, less wear on the infusion crystal for one thing um, and using a lot less inferior essence to do the thing at the same time so we can put down here now oh I also got a fertilizer essence and that came from um, fertilizer essence came from um, iron when you break iron or a tier which is certainly higher than what we've got at the moment so first of all, I have to plant down this. I keep forgetting what I'm trying to do, right? Like that. In fact, what we'll do is we'll also create the next, prepare the next one. And I'm going to try doing something else at the same time for this. Let's move this chest out of the way. I wanted the, what am I trying to do? Oh, I wanted the hoe. Where's the hoe gone to? Oh, that top. So we'll prepare this one and we'll also put down here, we'll just put ordinary, we'll just put down an ordinary inferium seed for this one. See if this makes a difference for this one. I did notice also when I was doing iron, I got one extra iron. So let's plant it down like this and another inferium seed here. And then we can simply, I've got another one here, I can use this one as well. Let's just get this one up like that. And then let's start to grow this. If I grow this seed here, then it's going to grow all nine around it. So just like this. What I'm curious about is how effective that's going to be um, on the iron seeds or on the inferium seeds, whether we're going to get more essence. So the way to find that out is by simply removing everything we've got in our inventory. Um, so while I'm doing this, I'll be back. I see I've already got the first iron here like this, and I'm waiting for this one to grow. In fact, all the rest of them not quite grown up yet. This one will grow on the, on the sort of three o'clock position should also grow as well right so now we're ready what I'm going to do is simply put down this chest here I've got in my inventory into another slot I'll show you what I'm going to do this because normally you wouldn't be able to put a chest down here but if you press shift and you put down a chest you can then have that as a single chest normally you can't do this with this let's get rid of all of the essences we've got in here let's sort the inventory out just to make sure that we've got all the all the essences and another trick for you if you ever want if you want to put stuff into a furniture you, and it's always efficient to do eight items with one coal what you can do is this take drag them across eight you get your three left over and then you can go to your furnace like this one and then just push these in here like that you'll have exactly eight or multiples of eight that was a trick it's night time i'll just have a quick sleep Of course, you've got to have inventory space to do that, which I don't normally have. So what I'm curious about, now we've got no essences on it. We've got one seed here. Let's have a look. I got two essences out of that, which is unusual. Plant down the seed again. And this one here, we'll get nothing. We'll just get one and one, because it's nothing special. This one and this one. We've got, we've got our eight iron essence and two seeds back again. So we can simply carry on doing this like this. And these two we can break as well. They should maybe give us another seed, which they haven't in this case. And then we carry on. So that's what I'm going to be doing for resource preparation. Um, the other seeds we're going to be making, there's a lot of mobs over there, it should probably be underground. Um, will be probably be gold and diamonds. Let's have a quick look at those um, other seeds. So let's have a look at gold seed. I think that's probably tier four. Tier four it is. So therefore we need supreme imperium essence, that's one. And diamonds will be tier five. Now the 
if you look at the uses of this one here you need eight and it makes four iron on the other hand is different you, you, you get um, eight and you get six so gold and diamond diamond essences here uses of that you need nine for one diamond and you can make a heart of the sea interesting that um, must be a mystical agriculture recipe yeah and diamond seeds are tier five so that's uh, supremium essence and it takes a lot of um, inferior essence to get to that level so before we get to that level what we've got to do um, is start to get going with uh, pneumatic craft repressurized so let's get on and do some of that I think I've still got a little bit of time yes I have so the first thing you've got to do with pneumatic craft repressurized is to get some compressed iron so we need a snack of iron at the very minimum um, to do this, I'll get rid of this over here and put the stuff away in here so we we don't need those for the time being. And the iron we can also craft up. So it's the same. Basically, it's always nearly always the same for this stuff. Eight will give us six ingots of iron, so that's fairly easy. A good way to get resources. Um, so now we need to make some TNT. Uh, I've basically been getting. Uh, gunpowder from actually it was not from, oh, I've got to find it first of all gunpowder I think it's not in this chest which needs gunpowder and sand sand will be in here nope it'll be in here we've got eight we need four of those and gunpowder should be down here yes we need four of these two no we need five don't we so if I'm not mistaken it's basically it's a cross off gunpowder surrounded by four no maybe it's the other way around yes so that gives us our TNT I could put this down on some obsidian but we'll just use some stone for today because why not I've got plenty of cobblestone and that is in here as you can see let's take a stack of cobblestone we also need a flint and steel of, to make the um, set it on light or we could use a lever actually let's make a lever just need a redstone signal a lever I've got stone in here and I've got one cobblestone let's quickly make up a lever of course you can do this in your own inventory like that let's go and make this I think here will be a reasonable place to do it so let's put down I'm going to make a hole in the middle here like this but we're going to do it on the ground so like like this I'm going to put the lever on the side here and in the middle of this we're going to put down the TNT like that and on top of the TNT we're going to throw down the iron ingots like this oops right wrong one stand back here let's ignite that and get out of the way okay that destroyed most of that pretty good what did we get we got 57 compressed iron that's a fantastic start actually a good number so we've got our lever back we've got our most of the cobblestone is gone so we don't need to use this cobblestone anymore for the rest. it's just the one time you need it as long as you get enough and we can then go and start building this thing so the first thing we need to do is to make a compressor so let's have a look at pneumatic craft now so pneumatic craft compressors so what we want is the simple cheap one that's the thermal compressor which we can't do that this is just the air compressor this one here so we need reinforced bricks and a pressure tube so real pressure tubes dead easy it's, it's glass around two iron ingots we'll make those first of all eight will probably be sufficient to start with i think i need some glass i don't have any one piece of sand will do let's, yeah, let's just put that into the into here rather than waste it i'll just put the wood sticks just two sticks in there and then that and that'll keep that fuel from being used up too much we just will get back 25 of these like that and we can put the charcoal back take this out 
if I need more, it's dead easy. There's plenty of sand around. So let's make this up first of all. So we put the glass in the middle. Very difficult to seeing it, of course. I don't say why, of course, but there we are. So we also need a furnace. And then we need these ref these bricks. Reinforced bricks. So that comes from reinforced bricks, comes from reinforced brick tiles or reinforced stone. So reinforced stone is one compressed iron surrounded by that. And that gives us eight. We're going to need a fair amount of this. I've got some stone already prepared. Totally tubular transfer. As in the stone should be in here. I've got 29. Let's take a, Let's do 32 and make four of these things. I don't think it's going to be enough, but we'll start with that. So we've got 32 reinforced stone, so we need to then make, how many was it? Four, I think. So let's see if we can make the air compressor now. No, we need five. Because <laughs> we need five. Wrong way. What did I just do? Sorry. Stone, our reinforced stone, that's what I wanted. So we've got data there, so we should be able to make the compressor. Shift click that into place, and we've got our air compressor. Very important. The next thing we need to do to make a pressure chamber. Now that's a lot more work. Hopefully I've got enough stuff to make the pressure chamber. So we need pressure chamber walls. Probably need a pressure... We don't need this to start with, because a pressure chamber glass is basically... Uh, one piece of glass surrounded by reinforced stone. Uh, pressure chamber walls, we need, how uh, many do we need of this? We need 27 minus one, so we need 26. So we're going to need two craftings of this. So therefore we've got two of those and we need another six, 14. So we need another 14 reinforced stone. Let's do that. Sixteen will do. So we can then make up these. We're going to have to make up two sets of those. And from that we then can make the valves. So what have we got here? Pressure chamber glass, pressure chamber valve. So for that we need, I suppose the cheapest to do at the moment is, we don't really need 16. Let's make four. We actually only need Pressure chamber valve, I think we only need one actually, let's just do one. But what we do also need is the import and export. I can't see them here because my camouflage applicator mini guy, I see I can't see that's actually what's underneath this because that's where the um, uh, the X Tories uh, info is. So let's have a look. No, not that way. What's it called? Chamber. No, I just have to look in here. Interface, the Cheshire Chair interface. So for that, we get two of this, is what we want. So we need just two and a hopper. Now, hopper's dead easy. Let's just quickly make up a hopper. So I need five. I've got enough iron here, haven't I? So I just need some wood. Use this oak up. So that went on the top, and then we put these two down like that. And we get our pressure chamber in interfaces. That's all we actually need to start with. I think it's coming down to sunset. I'll see in a few seconds when it's daytime. I haven't actually got that much space around this particular base, but I did clear away a bit of an area over here. That's the way, thank you. So we've got a little bit of an area here where we can do this. I think that's probably a good area. We can probably build some way across to get out here easily. So this will do to start with. So I'm going to put down the, the air compressor. Now the air compressor, if you look at this, has got pressure. So we've got none in it. Problems, so basically it's got no fuel and it's got air leaks, which we'll see in a second. Information just tells you about the machine, generate pressure and redstone. So what we want is on a high signal. So we could turn it off when we want to. So behind this, 
we're going to put some pipes down and I'm going to run those to start with straight into get rid of this fern straight into the chamber now we can do it two ways we can either go up which I think is what I prefer to do so let's put down the base first of all um, yes this will do for the base so I'm built across three of these you can make these bigger no big deal and then we'll put them on the walls here like this and here we want the valve and in the walls I'm actually going to have to make make this one solid to start with and then we need the, the sort of the ceiling of it so we'll put this like this so in this place here we need to put the um, valve where's it gone to this one pressure chamber valve and then we can connect this up with a pipe and that connects in as you can see on these sides here we want to put the interfaces so we need a where's it gone to two interfaces there we go and the direction you put these is the uh, sort of the direction they go out so this way this is the inside and the other side is the outside Actually, I don't need to press shift on this door I just click it in see that says I if you go around the other side it'll say E for export oh out O oh, for out okay sorry so input and output and the same over here like this and as soon as you do that it's it's then formed and you can see it's formed so then it says chamber is inside and outside and that's the pressure chamber side it's got warnings no valid items in the in here and then you've got pressure no pressure and then it's got upgrades so you can put a security in upgrade so it doesn't blow up a volume upgrade so it increases the number of the amount of air so I'm going to quickly go and get another hopper because we need a hopper to get stuff in and out of here now what we can do is we can use pneumatic craft hoppers now the problem with the pneumatic craft hoppers they are too big for one face of this um, so we may going to make one and one normal hopper so let's have a look quickly at the recipe for pneumatic craft hoppers so you'll also notice this in minecraft uh, 115 is sorting much easier to see stuff I'm not sure what the hoppers are at the moment. There's two hoppers, fluid hoppers and normal hoppers. There we go. So we want this one. So that's basically a, it's a standard hostel recipe with a chest um, with compressed iron. We've still got 51 compressed iron, that's great. So let's make that and, an orm, and a normal iron. So we've got one in go iron, so we need four iron out of this. You can see how fast you go through iron. We're going to need two chests. Let's quickly make this up. Like that. So I'll put one on here. So we will oh, I didn't get enough I didn't get enough iron with me. No big deal. Let's just press escape. You'll notice you get the chest straight back these days. I think there's some iron in one of these two chests down here. Here we go. In these furnaces, sorry. Um, so let's really quickly make up a normal hopper. The reason for this is you can put a normal hopper and you can get around the outside of it. Whereas you can't with the, the pneumatic craft uh, hoppers. And maybe I need to put diet hoppers on, I'm not 100% sure. But to be honest with you, I've forgotten. <laughs> so if we put a hopper, this is the outside. If we put a hopper on here like this. You have to shift click it it faces into this that's fine um, I think it's fine maybe I need to put a chest down or something another inventory down let's just do that but you can access this interface here like this which you need to the other side of here you don't need to access into in this interface so you can happily put an omnidirectional hopper into this one so shift click it into there and you'll see that you can't that, oh yes I can get it okay so you can't do it on the other way because you've got to have this face on it so now we're going to do is we're going to put some iron into this um, I haven't got any with, with that wanted with me well let's put in some coal and get some pressure built up into this and we'll also put down a lever beside it put down the lever beside it so we can turn it off and on so I haven't got any coal with me either I'll tell you what back in a few seconds with some coal and some um, iron so I've got some juggle on this flick that into see you'll see this is warning still warnings now um so redstone is just allowing this to work so we need to turn it off turn this on so this is then 
act high and it's then active no problems as you can see in here we look at this we've still got some problems when it's telling us no valid items in here now what you could of course do is to put all 64 of these in in one go but it's not a good idea especially at the beginning because it takes pressure just to get the iron into here so we can put this into here like this these will go into the pressure chamber wall here as you can see this interface and it won't come out until there's enough pressure in here so it says it needs more pressure in the chamber for these to come out and it needs to go up quite high let's have a look at pressure chamber in here so at the moment is 3.7 bar fairly slow so what we're going to do now is we're going to immediately build another um, chamber air compressor because otherwise it's going to take a long time to get this up so I'll be back in a second with a second chamber so right I came back but by the time I got round here we already got some compressed iron coming out of here and you get 16 for your 16 so that's pretty good I'm going to make up the others I'll do that off camera but first of all we're going to put down a chest down here so that the stuff will go drop out of here I do need to put the hopper this way I think it's this way anyway it comes in so that's no big deal and we're exporting crafted items only there is an option to export all which you don't normally want unless you've got extra items in in the in here so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to replace one of these so we can actually see inside it and maybe it's not a good idea to do it very because i've got to go right around here and then to be able to see inside this but that's no big deal let's let's just make one of these up so a piece of glass and a and a pressure chamber will make pressure chamber glass um so we just simply break this we should be able to break like that we lose the pressure let's cut out here and put the Put that back in there and see now you can see inside what's going on i've turned this off oh i thought i turned it off. of course it's got some fuel in here yes so let's put it down let's put down the, the second one here i made a second one three is actually a good number to have for this like that and then just link this in all you have to do to link it in is put down one pipe and it should go across and join in like that so then we just so then we can put down our redstone actually I haven't got any redstone let's put down our it's best to do this differently so let's set this one up also to high on a high signal and I need to make up some repeaters but and then we can put it down say here and then just feed it into here with some repeaters in we I don't think I can do it straight away I'm gonna get some redstone and be back in a second so what we can do down here is put some redstone but that doesn't link into both sides so that's why we do need the repeaters i did make some repeaters just to be on the safe side you can move back of course it wouldn't be a reason a problem to move this lever back one and then do it that way you could then feed them in but repeaters is neater, so let's do it like this and then put down one redstone here and that'll link in so when you put that on they both go on is that one set to high oh no coal in it that's why <laughs> it's got oh we've got charcoal in both of these so that'll build up the pressure quite quickly now uh well at least twice the speed obviously <laughs> the next time what we're going to do is we'll look at how to control this uh so it doesn't go so fast that you can turn it off when it's reached a certain pressure because we don't want this thing blowing up it's a bit of work as you can see uh only because there's no items in here but we can certainly put in some more items in here let's put in another let's put in 32 don't need the car carpet in there and then that will then work its way through we should also be able to see the iron come out of here and it won't take that long if we look at the pressure chamber oh it's already doing it you'll see that it comes in fairly quickly there you've got your first of your ingots already made into compressed iron and then the pressure will increase again and it will then go in the output I'm not quite sure how many are in here at the moment because it does use a fair amount of pressure just doing this there's nothing in the chamber good there's no, nothing in the hopper well you can sort in the hopper with this particular mod I didn't notice that before and of course there's nothing in here yet let's have a look so the pressure needs to come up a bit let's have a look at the wall so it's nearly there it's nearly at two when it reaches two bar it will then output the i it'll then convert the items i think it needs to go out then right there you go. now it's opened up there and you can see it's actually should have some items in here no let's have a look i have 31 
So then they've come out, they'll go into this hopper here like that, and then they'll drop down into this chest. I think there's one more item somewhere, because I saw 31, or maybe it's already in here. Let's just, just wait a few seconds. Yeah, there's our 32. And then we'll turn this off. It won't lose the pressure. This will keep it going on, and it won't it won't exceed two bar with it. Those two pieces of cut charcoal in here will finish burning out, as you can see, and then it'll stop automatically. Well, that's it for the first of the Pneumaticraft episodes. Um, next time we'll be doing some automation, as you've already seen, and start to make some more bits and pieces. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.